CBT is supposed to be the gold standard for anxiety, but in the biggest study of its kind, it barely built a sugar pill. In a 2015 meta-analysis of over 234 studies and 37,000 patients, researchers found that individual cognitive behavioral therapy had an effect size of 1.30. Placebo pills, 1.2. Nine. That's a 0.01 difference, or less than 1%. So CBT worked, but barely more than believing you were getting help. And this wasn't a glitch. Researchers rule out bias, study flaws, even allegiance effects. They conducted the psychotherapy, didn't significantly outperform placebo. This is what we're calling the gold standard. Now some people say, okay, but CBT is mid. My therapy is better. Here's what the same study found. Mindfulness therapy's effects, 1.56 quite good. Relaxation, 1.36. Group CBT, 1.22. Psychodynamic therapy, 1.17. Online remote therapy, 1.11. EMDR, 1.03. And then lowest of all, interpersonal therapy, 0.7. So unless you're doing mindfulness or relaxation, your therapy probably scored even lower than CBT. If CBT is the best we've got and it only beats placebos by a hair, then it's not just CBT that needs scrutiny, it's the whole mental health model. What actually worked for your anxiety? And what just felt like mental health homework? Drop it in the comments.